Well, Steve Ishmael, part of this offense that's really starting to crank it up as the season goes along. Uh, Steve, what was it like this past week to, to hop out to the early lead and hang on at the end? It was great, man. Um, seeing the progression of this offense continually every week, mm -hmm. um, it's been really exciting, man. I mean, I'm having a great time out there just watching guys make plays and, you know, coming away with wins. Amba's obviously been the star here so far in the first four weeks. What's it been like for you watching him sort of burst onto the scene? Uh, it's been great. As I told you guys before, I, he's a special player, man. I mean, um, I'm so happy for him. I feel like he really deserves it. The guy, put he puts in tremendous work. Um, humble guy, confident, and I'm really happy for him. Him and Irvin Phillips, them guys are really doing their thing, and you know, I feel like they're, they're, they're really going to help this team be, be successful. Coach Babers often says that he likes to spend the early part of the game, you know, figuring out what the defense is going and then taking advantage of it. It, it figures like the defense needs to start focusing on Amba here at some point. What do you think that's going to do to open it up for the rest of you? Uh, I feel like with the defense just going over there and double teaming them, it's going to most definitely open up a lot more holes in um, the defense because focusing on one guy, that, that, that attracts a lot of attention. And with everybody else open, it's going to really be exciting, man. As I said, um, I feel like he he can he can, he he is a receiver that most definitely have to be double coverage as you see how the plays that he makes. So I mean he's gonna open it up for a lot of us, and we're just really grateful to have a player like that on the team. Looking back at the last game, it felt like you guys did a lot of things well situationally. The drive at the end of the first half with limited time when you had a catch to set up the field goal, the 99-yard drive really to put the game away. What have you guys focused on at those parts of the game so that are really the, the parts that win you games? Uh, first downs, man, um, those things are key. Um, Coach Lewis, Coach Babers does a good, great job of um, calling plays just to get the first down. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, I feel like when the defense knows that we're going to focus on getting the first down, as you've seen, Amba went over top. So, I mean, this defense is really disguised, and, you know, it keeps defenses on their heels. And I feel like the coaches does, like, really do a great job of keeping the defense on their heels, which really opens up everything for the offense. All right, Notre Dame this week. You were a freshman when you last played them. What, what stands out when you play – Notre Dame that's got all the history and everything going along with it. The history, I mean, the alumni base over there is crazy, man. I mean, we're going to the New York Giants Stadium to play, but majority, when I went my freshman year, majority of the fans were Notre Dame fans. I mean, you just see green and gold out there, all the towels. So it's, it's really exciting, man. I mean, they, they're, they're a great team. Um, I respect them. Um, I watch film on them. They have a lot of great, good playmakers. I mean, their record is not the best right now, but those guys can most definitely play, and we're going to come out there and give it, give it our all. What do you expect to take away from the film? Because as we know, they've had a, a change on their staff on defense. Do you guys expect changes, or how much can a team really change of what they do here in just one week? Well, I know that I know that um, the D, they got a new defensive coordinator, so I feel like with him coming in and just watching film, it's going to be really hard to adjust to our type of offense. So, I mean, as I said, the, the offense keeps um, defenses on their heels, so – he got to he got to come prepared, man. It's gonna be really great, man. I'm just really excited to go out there and make plays. All right, you said Notre Dame's a big thing. You mentioned the NFL Stadium. How cool is that for a college guy to get to play in an NFL Stadium? Oh, that is so cool. That is an honor. That is really an honor, man. Um, thinking of all the legends that have been on that field. I mean, Peyton Manning, um, Odell Beckham, all those guys literally play on the, play on that field every day. So I mean, it's just really cool, man. Getting a feel for how the NFL stadiums are. I know that the numbers are different. Mm -hmm on the NFL um, stadium. So, I mean, just little things like that, knowing that could really help for um, when we make it to the next level. You might have to get a little gold hair dye going if you want to get the Odell look on, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to do that, but I, th I think I like the, the black look. <laughs> All right, well, let's Steve keep it the way it is, and uh, good luck this week. Thank you.